Kiana. And I'm Andrew. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the Soul Journey Project. Project. Here at the Soul Journey Project, we provide education, inspiration, and motivation on your journey through life. Welcome back for those of you who have been tuning in for the last couple of uh, excursions. Mm -hmm. And welcome to anyone who uh, is joining us for the first time. Thank you for all of the subscriptions and thank you for the likes and the comments. We appreciate it. Keep them coming. Uh, we, we love to engage with you mm -hmm. and get your thoughts on some of the topics that we are sharing. Because as we've mentioned before, this is a collective journey. We're on this journey together. And if you are just tuning in with us, the videos that we do, we're doing them in a sequence. So we're, every, each, each video is building on each other. So it's important to make sure that you've watched the previous videos before watching this one to make sure that you're in step with us. That's the beauty of uh, a recorded uh, message. You can go back and check out the previous previous messages. So. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna dive in. So just as a quick recap, the action step that we left you off on in the previous video was what do you want in life? And we were framing that in terms of outside of societal expectations and norms and other people's desires for your life. What do you want? And you were supposed to be thinking about that, write about that, and then that'll segue into this video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about uh, some practical steps on now creating a life vision or life mission statement mm -hmm. uh, and starting to create goals uh, that are connected to your life vision and mission statement. Mm -hmm. So let's jump right in. Mm -hmm. So this is a living statement, which is what we want to start off with. If you are not going to have it super polished and perfect, you know, <laughs> by the end of this, this is going to be an ongoing discovery. The more you learn about yourself and really fine tune what you want. Yeah. You know, sometimes it can get a little overwhelming creating goals. Uh, we seem to be a, a goal happy <laughs> nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, you have just like smart goals, you have short term goals, mid term goals, long term goals, life goals, family goals, uh, relationship goals, uh, you know, football goals and everything. <laughs> so we want to help simplify that process for you a little bit yeah. with some recommendations. And that first main recommendation is now that you've had an opportunity to kind of think about and visualize what you what you would like to see in your life. Now let's start putting pen to paper mm -hmm. and writing somewhat of a, a vision statement. Mm -hmm. um, some key points of this statement is, as Tiana mentioned, it's a living thing. So it's not going to be a one and done. You may change it. You may alter it m multiple times. Mm -hmm. um, and that's okay. That's totally fine. Uh, it, it, your desires will change as you, you know, advance in your life and you are in different stages. But it should be something that really resonates with you on the inside, um, which is why we encouraged you last time in the last video to really think about what it is I want out of my life. Because ultimately what we're trying to dial, we're trying to drill deeper into is what do I feel like my purpose is? What do I feel like my calling is? You know, from a more spiritual perspective, what do I feel I'm placed on this earth to do? You know, what is what has God uh, put me on this earth to do if, if you believe in God? So when creating your life mission or, or life vision statement, if you will, you want to make it in the first person. So you're going to start with, you know, I desire or I am or I would like to see or something like that. Um, you're starting it in the first person because you're talking about you. Yeah. And you really want it in the present tense as well. So this is something that I am a blah, blah, blah. I have blah, 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 you know, um, because you're, there's power in our words and what we speak. Exactly. So now you're sitting down, you have your pen and pad, and you're, you're getting ready to formulate your life vision or mission statement. Mm -hmm. Here are some areas that we encourage you to think about to in in incorporate in your statement. Mm -hmm. So things like your finances, mm -hmm. your relationships, your emotional and physical health, um, 
spirituality, mm -hmm. uh, your vocation or career, and your overall well-being. Mm -hmm. These are some areas you want to hopefully address in your mission statement, your life vision statement. Yeah, and some questions to kind of help you, you know, again, dial that down. So one question, that, one question you can ask yourself is, what feeling predominantly governs, governs your life right now? So when you think about how you're feeling on a normal day, what is that feeling? And then a follow-up question to that is, is that how you would like to feel? And if not, what would that predominant feeling that you would prefer be? And when you think about that, that can actually help guide your statement and maybe that word, you know, joy, you know, peace, what, you know, whatever it may be, um, you know, it may, it, it can help guide your statement to make sure that whatever you have in there really highlights that. Yeah. Other things to consider are uh, who is most important to you? Uh, you know, family, friends, um, spouses, children, uh, pets. again, yeah, pets. Again, um, you know, if you, if you have a really strong uh, spiritual path, then, you know, maybe you want to incorporate comments about your relationship with God um, uh, in your, in your journey, in your statement. Uh, so think about that as well. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, what kinds of things really energize you? You know, what kinds of things that when you're doing them, you just feel so fulfilled and you're just like, yes, I just love it when I can fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, th those are the things is that service to others, because, you know, most times we get the most fulfillment when we're serving other people, when it's not just only about me, myself and I. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so um, so your statement, you know, somewhere in there probably will have something to do with service in some sort of a way, whatever that may look like for you. Some people it's cooking. You know, cooking is their way of serving. Mm -hmm. You know, some people have, like you said, the animal. That's my way of serving. You know, so um, so what what is that activity that brings you that joy and that fulfillment? And um, you know, so all these things we're, we're talking about, just really journal, just kind of write write out just a list of what feelings you want to feel, what activities you enjoy, who is most important to you. Just kind of be brainstorming some of that because you're not going to be able to just write this statement right off the bat. Right, it, it's going to take um, some time of really sitting down and processing mm -hmm. this and writing it out. And as you write it out, then you'll be able to determine some themes. Yeah, and um, those themes are, are going to really be critical for you to identify because that's how you're going to um, further refine mm -hmm. for yourself your your purpose uh, in life. Um, that's a big. It's a big thing for a lot of people, right? They feel like they don't know what their purpose is or they don't know um, how to even go about determining it. Well, this is one activity that can help you along your soul journey uh, to discovering your purpose and ultimately help you on your path towards living your best life. Because here at the Soul Journey Project, that is our goal, to help you live your best life. And what does that really mean? Well, it means living a life of purpose, mm -hmm. living a fulfilled life in service, as uh, Kiana has mentioned already, in service to others, using your unique gifts and talents and abilities uh, for the betterment of, of all mankind, all, all humankind. Mm -hmm. That's what we're about here at the Soul Journey Project, and that's what we're encouraging you to do. Yeah. So um, I know it's helpful. Many people are like, okay, well, what's an example of this kind of statement? Like, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Can you give us an example, Kiana and Andrew? Yes. Right? <laughs> so um, so I, I'll give an example of mine. Um, this is my, my personal one, my real one. This is not fake or made up. This is truly my heart. And um, here we go. So my statement, I'm going to read it just so I don't mess it up, is I am balanced in spirit, soul, and body with peace of mind. My family and I are in perfect health and full of joy. I have multiple streams of income and I make a difference in the lives of those I encounter. So that is my personal life vision, vision statement. Mm -hmm. And um, to kind of break it down a little bit, so kind of some components for me having balance 
is really key. I notice right away if I'm in balance in an area, whether it's spiritually or in a relationship or with my exercise routine or how I've been eating. If I'm if I'm out of balance with what I know I, I should be doing and what gives me the most fulfillment, you know, I feel off and I'm just not where I want to be, mm. right? Um, and then I have, you know, with peace of mind. So peace is something that's really big for me that, you know, I'm, I can't have an issue within a relationship and be doing the silent treatment. And I, I, I just can't do that. I can't function. So peace is a feeling that's really important for me. Joy was a feeling that is important for me. Um, the family aspect too of health, you know, having perfect health um, for my whole family not just something that's selfish about me, but that we're all functioning as healthy as we can be um, with what's within our ability to do. And then um, having multiple streams of income, that kind of goes into more of the vocation, you know, side of things, you know, what that looks like, we'll see. Um, but that is something that I do value. Um, and then making a difference in the lives of those I encounter. Um, as I said previously, I am a therapist um, in terms of vocation and you know, was doing that before there was even a title, right? Just have a heart for helping people, um, see, helping you get to a higher level in the Soul Journey Project is one way that we can do that together. So that kind of breaks down mine, just to give you an example. And it, it can look totally different, does not have to be anything like that, but just to give you something to work off of. Yeah, that's a great example. Hey. And beautiful mission statement. <laughs> and mine is very similar to hers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for your action step for today, is start on your list and create a draft of your life vision statement. Mm -hmm. It's a rough draft. Just start to brainstorm. And then as you start to write, you will start to find those themes. Then you'll be able to put together a nice cohesive statement. Mm -hmm. And it's a beginner statement. Mm -hmm. So it's not gonna be perfect on your first try. Again, you're gonna refine it as you go on this journey. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna discover new things about yourself as we continue and that will alter your statement. But at least you'll have something to work on. In one of our future videos, we will show you then, once you have your life statement, how can you start to create tangible goals uh, based on your statement? Mm -hmm. And that'll be in our future video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we appreciate you going on this journey with us today, this excursion, as Andrew said. <laughs> Um, we ask that you please do like the video, please subscribe, um, hit the bell so you can be aware of each new video as soon as we post it. And don't forget to share. Yes, yes. Share with others that you think would benefit from this information. Like I said, we're building a community here. So we're in this together. So we appreciate you all. As always, we encourage you to take, take the, the step. step.